Virtual reality. It seems to be all the rage now. It's all anyone ever talks about. And I mean, it's not too hard to see why. It's everywhere. It's in our consoles, it's in our computers, and it's now even in our phones. A bunch of companies have been working with it too. Samsung, Sony, and HTC have been the main heavy hitters. But now we have Google on the scene, and they're calling their mobile version of virtual reality Daydream VR. When you first put on the headset, you're met with this sort of natural, geometric environment that's pretty cool to look at by itself, but it also serves as your desktop for all of your applications. Now, as far as the user interface goes, this is by far one of the best experiences that I've had for virtual reality. In terms of the apps, that's sort of the first complaint that I have. While yes, you do have some pretty broad choices, the amount of apps really isn't that overwhelming. But you do have some choices, like some news apps like CNN, or video apps like Hulu or Netflix, or of course YouTube. And then you have some games, or just some plain fun apps like Street View, so you can stalk your ex's home in the middle of the night from the comfort of your own bathroom. But again, the number of apps to choose from really isn't that much. This of course will change over the next few months to the next few years once developers get on board with the platform, but until then, something like the Gear VR definitely still has a leg up in this department. Now in terms of the hardware, it's incredible. It's also super easy to set up. You throw your phone into the headset, it automatically knows it's in the headset, you throw on the latch, and you're ready to go. But most importantly, it's a comfortable headset, so you can leave it on for an extended period, and you don't really have any issues of discomfort. There are some issues with light leaking, however. If I'm adjusting the screen with my eyes, light definitely finds its way through the nose indent, which I mean really isn't an issue for short-term usage, but if you're watching a movie or a video or anything immersive, it can be a bit distracting. But overall, the fit is a whole lot better than its competition. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that with other VR headsets, I can usually only leave them on for about 20 to 30 minutes before I start getting a headache or I start just feeling weird. With Daydream, I can easily leave it on for an hour plus without needing to take a break. I will say that readjusting is a constant with the Daydream VR, especially when moving your head around a lot in like a game, the headset has a tendency to be a little shifty. Obviously everybody's head is a different shape, so mileage may vary but I thought I should mention it just because it is a little bit annoying sometimes. The remote is also really well done. It's very easy to use, and the industrial design is very self-explanatory. You can tell every single button apart from each other, either by its texture or its concave or convex nature. Personally, I find the remote to be a way better form of interacting with virtual reality, at least a lot better than having to hit something on the side of your headset. But honestly, Daydream VR is totally VR for dummies. Everything from the design to the setup is stupid simple. So if you're giving this to your parents or your grandparents, along with their new Google Pixel phone, which is required in order to make this headset work, it's really hard for them to f*** up. At the end of the day, I think we're just in this waiting game for developers and even Google themselves to bring their full range of applications to the Daydream VR platform. But this is what VR should be super simple to use, and allows anyone and everyone to understand and love. I don't know what to say.